Most elite shooters you watch, the timing and fluidity of their shot may be the number one quality that's responsible for their success. At the end of the day, the ball is a very light object. Sometimes we can make it harder than it is. And I think if you guys apply this workout and really try to get that shot to feel effortless every time, you'll start to increase your range, shoot better when tired, find your rhythm better, all that. So in this workout, Simon mentioned to me before the session that his shot felt a little bit out of rhythm recently. This for a variety of reasons, but we've all felt that before as shooters. So the way I usually approach it, like you'll see in this video, is to give a ton of different rhythm challenges, forcing him to get comfortable finding rhythm in a wide variety of situations. Sometimes when our shot feels off, we can kind of baby it too much and keep it too easy because we feel crutched. But in my opinion, challenging yourself in these situations is the priority. Check out how we get this done. Sorry, here we go, overhead, reaching up all the way, like fully straight arms, popping down so feet come slightly off the ground. Quick pop up and do it here from this. Down, and then up, try to be super fluid with it. So first we're going with these overhead pull jumpers, really cueing him to self-organize and find rhythm in his shot. These are obviously the first of the day, so nothing crazy, but you'll feel how this is a bit of a challenge timing-wise to get off a fluid shot. Same thing, this elbow, now we'll add something into it. Starting this way as you flip, turn, find that rhythm into it. Yeah. Then by adding in a little bit of rotation, it's creating an extra challenge to stop rotational momentum with perfect timing getting up into the shot. Way try to really speed that up as you go. It's weird because you're turning, but there we go, good. Since you're shooting a free throw, first one, again, feet can't leave the ground. As you make two, just take, take a big step back. Same thing, feet can't leave, uh, leave the ground. Same thing, feet can't leave the ground as you move back. Although feet pretty much can't go any further. Next one here is a timing staple of mine. No jump shooting. This one really gets players finding the timing and energy transfer to effortlessly get that shot up, even with limited power from the lower half. I like really pushing the limits here by moving back and back and back, right to the edge of the range. There you go, step back, like a little bit closer. Now try it, same shot that we were just shooting, but without jumping. So it'll be like that big pull down, and that is gonna kind of develop like a, it's like a bouncy ball hitting the ground. Yep, exactly. And then adding in that overhead pull, now force them to control that power. Yes, that's beautiful. Small step back, one more. Heels on the circle, there we go. Right. There we go. So now with that in mind, just five regular threes, I'll throw it kind of anywhere along this area, just knock it down. Then as you see here, we periodically throw in regular jumpers to try to bridge that gap between the past few drills and the sensation he's getting there, and then a more standard jumper. This one you go three skips into it, so you're just one, two, three. On that third one, you're using that downward momentum, it's like a wave, up, down, up, down. Last one, use that wave. Next here, we're taking it off the dribble with some skip jumpers, using that upward to downward momentum, kind of just float into the shot. You should just feel like super effortless, like a wave up in that shot, making three. But again, another challenge for the rhythm into the shot, and something that starts to really feel fluid with time. Now, man, emphasize that third skip. which is fine, but take that out for the sake of the drill where it's like a big just flow downward, upward. Yeah, that's like a, you're almost like letting it flow into it. So everything's going down, everything's going up. Two, three, ah yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Watch me. Under that ball. Beautiful. Yes, I don't say anything, knock it down. 
if I say stop, you're stopping your rhythm wherever you are, and then like a, I'll just say go. Like a second later, I'll say go, and now you're going up from there. So it could be like a, you're really confident getting into it. Stop, you gotta stop here, and then find that rhythm from like halfway into the shot. Next one here, one of the toughest shots timing-wise, is having to restart the momentum of your shot. Stop. Especially without re-dipping the ball, which isn't bad at all, but I just wanted to challenge him a bit here. Then it also becomes a mental challenge because you're almost expecting the stop call and shooting assertively through that is tough. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Way to find that rhythm. There you go. Yes, sir. So if I got right hand to start on one, two, straight up into it. If I got left hand to start on one, two, oh, straight up into it. Then we're with a double move quick pickup, this time with a double between, which really challenges the ability to keep that ball's momentum moving up from the dribble and to be in tune with the timing of the last step, which pops you up into the jump. Two up, yes, there we go. Yep. Then obviously lifting up his level to make it tougher to explode into the air and giving him less time to gather his time. Up even more. Quick, quick, yes. You're sprinting into it, try not to lose any momentum as you scoop it up off the ground. All right, so if I'm coming from this angle, I'm trying to not lose that momentum as I'm up into that shot. This one here is probably the weirdest one yet, but it's a great challenge to work on shooting from low positions, but more specifically, the timing to pick up and fluidly shoot from a super deep and leaning starting point. As soon point. as you pick it up, I'm trying to close out from elbow. I can block it. Trust me, this is not easy, but if you can shoot from this, you're pretty much ready for anything. Is that like using the momentum to go forward or are you just moving using the momentum to pick up? I would say a little bit of both. I would say like one thing that I like thinking about is as my body goes, the ball goes, right? So if I'm using that momentum, my body's momentum, I'm just kind of letting that ball flow with it. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, like a- You're stepping, you're stepping with the pickup. Right, so I'm stepping with that pickup. And then as I move, like as I'm moving forward, the ball is just kind of flowing along with me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, you like pick it up and yeah. then take one too, you know what I'm saying? Which is the natural thing to do. You're like, all right, let me pick something up and then go. Just let that ball flow up into the air. Yes, there we go. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing with me. Yeah. Is that's why I feel like my timing is off on my shot. Is when I have to like really come from the low area, right? Right. When I jump, it feels like the ball. I feel like I'm jumping and I'm shooting when I'm going down. It's you know hard. Okay. So you almost like hang to get that shot. Yes, exactly. So it's like the ball is behind. It's like you're yeah. jumping and then the ball gets here, so you have to kind of yeah, float so in the air. I would say just imagine like, again, wherever the ball goes, sorry, wherever your body goes, the ball goes. So as you're scooping it up, you're going this way, right? As you're going up into it, you're just kind of letting it flow. You could even think about the same, I guess, mechanics or like flow that we did on this one, where you're not jumping, where it's again like up, up. Like there'll be times in the mid range where you will have to kind of flow it and shoot, obviously, but from three, it's usually unless you have a lot of momentum just like on the way up. So think about, especially on this one, as your body goes this way, the ball is getting scooped up, everything's just flowing up towards the basket. As you're scooping it up, you're shooting that same no jump shot, but off that scoop. Right, so it looks like this where you're like here, flow up into it. That's just gonna feel mad awkward. But it'll just kind of give you that exposure to like here and then up without, you don't have a jump to hang on. Right, you don't have a jump to hang on. It's gonna force you to. Right. This ball is a very light object. You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes we try to like, feel like it's so Right, it's so heavy. It's like we're shooting a medicine ball, right? And jump so high, you got no problem. Right, and sometimes again, you will have to. If you're coming off a screen, you got momentum, right, right. then you will, and you have to control it. But. Most times it'll be just fluid. Let that ball just float up. Yep, solid. All right, now back to regular. You can jump on it. Try to find that power as effortlessly as possible. Solid, it's good. Nice. This will move like almost back 
backwards into it. So like here, they make the joint. And as you can see through this, we've identified something very specific that we can now lock in on. This is why I like really putting these various challenges in front of players, because usually a couple of them will really click, and that gives us a window into what we really need to key in on. Create that. Yes, there we go. So you're one, two, same thing as this second foot is stepping in, so tripping. As this second foot is stepping in, you're already up in the shot. So one, two, quick. Yes, there we go. Shots, whatever you want. Only thing you gotta emphasize is that energy transfer, that flow, the timing, whatever. Yeah, exactly. So as you're getting your pitching roll shots, whatever, try to emphasize that. Especially with higher level players like Simon, I'll give a lot of freedom for them to go and shoot their own shots with all this in mind. So I essentially just shut up and allow them to work on applying that sensation internally. To these first five, here's the point setup. If you make a shot, it's one. If you turn around, like Steph type shit, like uh -huh. shoot it, turn around, before it goes in, that's three. If you do that and it misses, it's minus one. You got 10 shots. I like this next one a lot because it's fun, but also really helps you develop the trust and confidence in your shots. And trust and confidence oftentimes will actually equal more fluidity. Simple as that. Six. switch up the spot each time. Your goal is to jump behind the three-point line from as far in as you can. So maybe starting here, you're jumping back behind and then finding that time and to quickly pop up into it. Maybe start a little bit closer to the three-point line then as you go. Let's make eight. Now we're working on being able to reverse backwards momentum into forwards momentum, something that a lot of players struggle with. And honestly, we see a lot more than you think, not only on step backs and off the dribble, but moving backwards into catch and shoots as well. If you challenge the distance that you're jumping back here, this is tough timing wise, especially when you add in a dribble like we do here. Beautiful. I'll just set a screen for you. We'll go six for eight is your goal. It's gotta be a new shot each time. Start on me. Then finally, just ending with some reps. Notice that number one, every shot is slightly different, which helps your shooting work transfer to the game much, much better. And number two, there's a challenge or a goal on each one. It's not just shooting just to shoot. There's a bit of pressure and challenge too. Oh, yes. Got it. Over here, you're just one spot, so you're not moving into it, making any two moves you want to. Or any two dribbles, I guess, or one, two. You catch it, go one, two. Anything you want to, just switch it up each time. Goal again is six for eight. So even though he was slightly hurt and fatigued and we didn't want him going at 100% full out, he's getting better and he's getting used to this challenge. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is definitely a workout that you can go do by yourself with somebody else. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Really try to challenge yourself on every single shot. And I think you guys will see big results here. Also, make sure to check out the Ultimate Shooting Program. I'll put the link in the description.